Hi, how are you doing? My name is Checker Cycle, and I'm here to play a new fam format called Play Along Checkers. Okay, first I just want to tell you a little about the Checker Cycle Club. Uh, first goal is to play a better game, to, to help each other. The second goal is to promote the game, good sportsmanship. And the third, we want to learn the modern way. Uh, now, uh, first I'd like to say a couple things. Uh, why do we play checkers? Well, sometimes we play checkers because we have the time. Uh, other times we play checkers because we like to learn, to build up our visualization, our imagination, and act. Sometimes we play checkers for trophies. Oops, second place. Going to have to try harder. Uh, other times we play checkers for money. In some tournaments you have prizes. However, Really in chess is where the money is. Most of the time we play checkers for the love of the game. And here to be happy. Like these, if you could see these uh, happy faces, checkers could be a lot of fun. The better, you, the more you learn, the better you get. Now we're going to start our play along. The play along basically is you have your board set up. You have the dark pieces on the right side. We're starting out with the dark pieces and the light. In, my, in this particular case, it's red and white. I'm going to do this first move. I'm going to try to go a little slower, and you can make your comments how we can improve this format so we can all help each other. So I'm going to move 11 to 15, and when I move, you move. It'll make it easier, uh, and you can learn more that way. And when I say stop, I'd ask you, when I say stop, basically I'm going to say stop, look, and consider. Tom Wiswell used that expression, and basically it's a very, very good expression. Okay, white moves... 25 to 22, and red jumps. Red. White jumps red back. Now, this is called the single corner opener, and it's very popular, so this is one of the reasons why I want to start with this. Okay, now we have the next move is 8 to 11. Uh, white moves 29 to 25. Okay, uh, 4 to 8 for red. 24 to 20 for white. Okay, the next move here is 12 to 16. Okay, now we can stop for a second here and see. We see that red has an elbow here, but because he has this piece defending, white can't take advantage of this right now. So we, uh, but this is the different things you have to look at, the little combinations, the little tactics that go and play, and they can start as very early in the game, and, and that's how you learn to play. Okay, so we, now we have uh, white's move, uh, and white goes white goes 27 to 24. Okay, this move uh, he makes in this position, and red goes 10 to 15. This is called a squeeze. He's squeezing this piece. This piece can do a few things. In this case, he can't move, and he can cover up. He can cover up here and here. Now, of course... This is the first part. If we're going to use a little visualization. If white moves here, it loses. The move loses because of the uh, the goose walk trap, which we went over in videos you can check. But basically, you, you mentally move this checker here, the white checker here. Red would give him a checker. Uh, white would jump. Okay. Red would give him another checker. White would jump. And white would be here, here, here which is a, uh, what's called, with an elbow. Red would come here, white would take, red would jump, one, two, land right here, getting ready for the king, and then he would get this piece uh, next. So it would be three on three, but he gets a king, so that's the loser move. So right away, that's why you stop. One good example why you stop looking, consider. So white goes 26 to 22, and again, that's the correct move. Now, uh, red needs to cover up this hole. Now this is a legitimate threat of him jumping. He coming here, he jumps, and he goes twice. So red goes 8 to 12. Okay. White now continues his fine tactical play. He goes 23 to 19. Okay. And white, red jumps here from uh, tw uh, 23 to 19 to 16 to 23. White continues with 18 to 14, and white jumps 9, 
I'm going to, uh, excuse me, I get the numbers, but that's why we're playing along, in case I get something mixed up, 9 to 18. Now, this, this is amazing. Or just before, uh, just before this, Red was trying to get White into this tight position. Instead, Red is in the wrong position. <laughs> White goes here and breaks up the elbow that we talked about before. He has to jump, and White jumps. Two. So Red's move. I'm going to stop and consider for a second. Red is going to lose his checker. He has nowhere to go with it and all that. So he says, okay, let me at least make a weakness. Make him move out of his king's rank. Okay, so from there, we have white put uh, uh, red's move. Red goes 5 to 9. Okay, white goes 24 to 19. Okay, 24. Then we have, uh, we got here, uh, 5 to 9, 24. Okay, 4 to 19. Red cont uh, continues, goes uh, 9 to 14. White goes uh, 25 to 22. He doesn't get a king yet because he wants to try to control the board as much as he can. Now Red does another. Now Red does another fine move. He goes right here. Uh, this is a this is a nice move. It's just a small combination. White has to jump, and Red goes seven to eleven and squeezes that checker. Sometimes again to get a draw, you have to do those little good moves. You have to think ahead. White goes gets a king. Crown him. Okay, hope you're following all correctly. Red jumps. Now we have, cool. we're going to go over this position. This position is uh, a, an even game because white's going to come out, but red has enough protection here to be able to uh, exchange him if, if he gets too aggressive, and red's going to come here, and it's a draw game. I hope you like this little demonstration, a little learning tool, and any comments to help. We uh, help you and help the che uh, Checker Cycle Club to get this game popular. Please send me. Thank you very much. Enjoy.